Right, let's move on now with a look at what's grabbing headlines in the newspapers here in France with Flo Villamino. Hello there. Hi, Kat. And we're going to start off uh, with French papers taking a close look at something happening quite a long way away, but which could affect the French economy. We're talking about events in Greece. Absolutely. Uh, La Croix, the Christian paper, talks about a Greek warning shot for Europe. And this is, of course, why French papers are playing, paying such a close attention to what's happening in Greece. La Croix says that's one of the strengths and the weaknesses of the EU is that countries can't be indifferent to what happens to their neighbors. You can see on the front page there the man of the moment, Alexis Tsipras, his uh, far-left Syriza party, of course, seen as one of the favorites in this upcoming general uh, election. Uh, Lacroix in its editorial says, though, that uh, Greece and therefore Europe is really entering a period of uncertainty. 2014 is coming to an end with a major question mark. According to uh, Lacroix, Greece, the hardest hit country by the economic crisis, high unemployment, it's been jerked around by all sorts of international institutions. Well, Greece has long been torn by this question. Is austerity the solution or is another policy possible? All right, and the man who is presenting uh, what he says is another alternative is Alexis Tsipras, who you mentioned, the head of the Syriza party. Uh, French papers uh, some of them agreeing with him. That's right. Uh, L'Humanité, the communist paper, uh, is a big fan of his. Uh, they and his party say that uh, Syriza is the incarnation of democratic resistance. And you can see here uh, on their front page, you can see him applauding there in Parliament why Syriza is making Europe's austerity defenders so scared. Well, uh, L'Humanité has very harsh words for these austerity defenders who are indifferent to the anger on the streets and the humiliation and injustice suffered by everyday people. So that, of course, is the opinion of uh, L'Humanité, the communist paper. L'Opinion, the more pro-business paper here in France, well, isn't so thrilled mm. by what's happening uh, in <coughs> Greece. It says that, you know, after all, European solidarity saved Greece. Five years ago, Greece revealed the hidden extent of its budget deficit and almost brought down the Eurozone with it. And it was Europe's massive aid package that put out this fire. And this, of course, came with certain conditions, uh, certain requirements for reform. So if we take a look again there at the editorial uh, in L'Opinion, there's this Latin phrase, pacta sunt servanda. That means agreements must be kept. Bit ironic to use Latin when you're talking about the Greeks, though, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, let's see uh, what happens. Uh, plenty to come from Greece, I'm sure, over the next few weeks. We're going to uh, move on to a story here in France now, French politics. Prime Minister Manuel Valls, he's been elected Man of the Year. That's right. Not here in France, though. Uh -huh. It's a Spanish paper. Of course, he was born in Spain. Uh, they've elected uh, Prime Minister Manuel Valls, Man of the Year. That is El Mundo. That's a paper from the center right. You can read about it here in Aujourd'hui en France. They applaud, applaud the Spaniard who wants to change France. Uh, and Manuel Valls gave an interview to El Mundo. And this is a quote. I had to double blink because this it seems like a <laughs> okay. pretty crazy quote coming from him. But he said, French citizens are ahead of their political leaders when it comes to reform, change, and their tendency to work hard. Perhaps this mm. could explain why certain politicians, including Manuel Valls and, of course, the president, François Hollande, have spent a lot of time very low in opinion polls. OK, very interesting words there from Manuel Valls. And his boss, François Hollande, uh, scheduled to give his traditional New Year's address tomorrow. That's right. It's a big tradition here in France. And Le Parisien reports that not only is it a tradition, but... Hollande wants to come across as traditional. Uh, he f spent the first half of his term trying to come across as Mr. Normal. Well, according to Le Parisien, he wants to come across as more serious, more solemn. Uh, and according to Le Parisien, uh, the traditional New Year's address is the perfect opportunity mm. for this because it's the presidential address that draws the biggest audience. Now, Le Figaro says that Hollande is going to try to come across as solemn and optimistic. After the nightmare that was 2014, Hollande hopes to bounce back in 2015. He's betting that things are going to look up. He's been to saying that for a long time. He's been saying that for a long time. <laughs> That's exactly what L'Opinion is okay. saying today. They're like, they say, this sounds quite familiar. <laughs> France is on the right path. Well, this is exactly what he said last year. And last year wasn't such a great year. Still, if you keep saying it, it's got to be right sometime, hasn't it? Um, finally, you've got a new study, something completely different. This is about rodents, a bit of food for thought as the year comes to an end. That's right. This is a study, a very serious study, carried out by the University of Portland on voles. Voles are small rodents similar to mice, but very fatter. Cute. Very, very cute. <laughs> uh, well, one of their particularities, <clears throat> rather, is that they're monogamous and they're very similar to man in terms
terms of their neuromechanisms. Well, it turns out that when they drink too much alcohol, they become unfaithful. <laughs> uh, well, especially the males. Males become unfaithful and females become more attached. So this is something to think about when you pop champagne uh, this New Year's Eve. People can draw their own conclusions from that. Thanks very much for now. Flo Villamino will be back in a couple of hours' time with a look through the international press for us as well. Right now.